Welcome to another unboxing video. This is $2,000 worth of gold and silver in this box right here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot something. My penmanship sucks, so bear with me here. Now, in this video, I'm going to be unboxing $2,000 worth of gold and silver. And silver, mostly silver. Yeah, mostly silver. I forgot what I brought, but I did ask some people. I made a video like, um, I think on Monday or so, or I forgot what day I dropped the video. Asking people, hey, give me some advice. I think it's called how to, how to invest $2,000 in gold and silver. And I took some people's advice and I actually did it. Now, I won't remember who I took the advice from, but I'm gonna put the comment that they put on there so you guys can see who did it. All right, so now let's open up this box and see what's inside. And I learned from my last video that I need a box cutter, so I found one. Let's see here. Like I said, I forgot what's in it. So it's gonna be a surprise to me too. There we go. Let's take some of this off. Okay. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Let me move these out of the way. Huh. So I did get an insert box. So I can store my silver and gold coins. They even have some for pennies as well. Hmm. I do have some dimes and nickels. So I'll put some of this, let's see here, up to 15 years of protection. Let's see, does it have how much it holds on? Well, it says insert box Q100, so I'm expecting it to hold at least 100. There's more details on the back, let's see. Let's just open this baby up and find out for ourselves. I think this is a smart, I mean, dumb way to, of opening it. I thought it was. Hmm. Oh man, this sucks. I thought it came with the inserts itself, but obviously it didn't. Ah. How do I store stuff in here? No one did then tell me how much insert it comes with, so I'm gonna have to actually purchase that itself. It's supposed to look something like this right here. Huh. I'll get them, I'll look at the description later. Let's see, what else do I have in here? Uh, this is real heavy. Okay, I got 10 Troy ounces of fine silver right there. And of course, obviously I use Atmax. And the reason I did ask um, people to give me some sites and they gave me some amazing sites, but since I'm used to Atmax, I actually, you know, if I'm gonna spend $2,000 on silver and gold, I wanna make sure it's something I'm, I'm, you know, I'm used to. Okay, so the next purchase is not gonna be $2,000. It's probably gonna be 100. So I'm gonna use that. Let's see here. What else I have? What's in this? Right off. Huh. Okay, so I have some dimes here. Some silver diamonds right here. Every day I live, I realize that my own people don't want Let me see here. Now if we look at the date, it says 1946. Every last one of them is 1946. Okay. Cool, I'll put that aside. I'll put that back in later. 
What else do I have? They gave me a plastic. I think I cut this when I was cutting. When I was cutting through the plastic itself. Let's see, what else do I have? I have an eagle. Cool. American eagle, one ounce there. I also have, I have one ounce silver maple leaf right here. Nice. What else did I get? Same thing, I got two of these. What else? I got a buffalo. Silver round buffalo. What else? Another American Eagle. I have a one ounce sunshine minting here. Another buffalo. Let's see. All right, another sunshine bar. Um, yeah, bar. And then here we go. This is where most of the $2,000 came from. Now, I finally got my hands on a one ounce bar and it looks beautiful, fine gold. It's actually $50 face value, American Eagle. Looks beautiful. I'm gonna get a buffalo next whenever I do this again. Let me see if I could get it close up for you guys to see. Get some light in there. Very beautiful. All right. And that's pretty much it. Let me see here. I got one more box to open. Well, one more package. And I don't want to cut the box open. So let's do it this way. I got another way of storing some gold bars or silver. Yes, I gotta open it. I wonder how you store it. Like they don't give you nothing. Like I have to get everything individually. Let me see. Does the bars fit in there? Let me check it out here. Let me take. Do I have any bars here? Let's see what it is. Open up. Let's try. Open up one of my silver bars right here. And let me see. I would assume it goes in like this. Supposed to look like this. And that's pretty much it that I have in this box. This is $2,000 worth of gold and silver. Well, mostly silver. Right here, this is where most of the money came from. Um, I think I got this for about um, 1410 or 400 and something. I forgot. But everything else took up the rest of the thousand dollars so it was actually two thousand well a little bit less than two thousand because of course i brought these as well this little box here and this so i'm happy with what i have i'm ecstatic about it it's going to be cool to add these to the collection and possibly figure out a way to store them i might just keep them in these stuff right here that they normally come in but thank you guys for everyone who commented and helped me out and thank you guys don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on Urban Lifestyle.